Hey, welcome back everybody. This is episode 3 of my Rogue Tech playthrough campaign. Right now we're sitting at New St. Andrews, pretty much where we started off. And it's on the uh, edge of the inner sphere here. You can see we're our way on the one side here. Um, our goal was to make our way along the periphery here. So um, this is, uh, this, since this is the third episode, we've only got a couple of battles under our belts here. The last episode we picked up a new mech warrior. Um, as part of the role play, it was uh, payroll. Yeah one of a group of young nobles we we uh, talked to in a bar and we took them along on a on a uh, contract assessment so and this one was the only one that was left that was interested in in uh, being part of the group so we ended up hiring them now if we go to um, command center real quick we're gonna have a look at our contracts and I think the last time we just we decided we were gonna go and do the insurgent leader um, We've had a, a confirmation from several sources that the leader of an insurgent cell backed by the Free Worlds League is moving in the open. This is a rare opportunity to take out one of the primary enemies of the legitimate local government in the new regime, or sorry, in the regime in Sunate, uh, New St. Andrews. Additionally, we'll include a bonus payment if you're able to destroy all of the targets escorting units, which is, you know, kind of what we do. So we're going to take this actual contract. Um, we're, we're three days away from the end of the month here. So we had talked about refitting our fire starter. So after we finish this contract, um, we st there's still a few contracts left here, but we'll see what kind of situation we're in. We may decide to move on to the next planet, um, but we're going to take the insurgent leader here. We're going to negotiate, and we're going to take maximum salvage on this one. We're doing okay. We got enough money for the next month, so take maximum salvage. This should be enough to repair and uh, cover our drop costs, and then hopefully we get something good here. So we're going to accept this. And we're going to take our standard lance again, once again, our, our heat overheating units and our missile and uh, PPC unit. We're just going to deploy here and see what we get. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Now the last one we were trying to take out a spy and we had some clan mechs. This looks like a griffin to me shoulder mounted uh, missiles but it could also be a wolverine the last time we faced the uh, clan wolverine uh, mech and a clan commando so hopefully this time that's not a clan mech but it looks like we've got a group of guys here and another one over here so we're gonna have to take out the first um, group of protectors really quickly and then engage the second ones when they come up on our flank here so what we're gonna do uh, what we always do is revert, reserve back to turn like one. Yeah, it's an ideal place for an ambush, all right. But we're going to reserve back to turn one, and then we're going to move here. That, so that, I don't know if you noticed, these guys have moved up a little bit over here. But we're going to just Commander. sort of try and get in without these guys here moving. But they may still move, we'll see. So, once again, we're going to move our fast mechs up here as quickly as possible. Uh, let's go along this way. Let's move. Hello, new so one target. And let's get height up here. What are your orders, Skipper? He's got some good speed. So we'll get him up in here. Hopefully we can figure out if that's a mech or not. Yeah, it is. Well, maybe not. Looked like it was there for a second. Nope, we got two contacts now. Nothing over there, nothing over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to move our missile units, or our missile unit up on the hill, and our long-range PPC unit here up on the hill as well. We'll use our lighter mechs to scout out the enemy, and then these guys to pick them off from a distance. Alright, so this looks like a vehicle. We're going to reserve again. These are both light. So we're going to reserve and see if they move in on us. The idea is to try and get first shots on people, but they're not moving. So we're going to reserve again. Looks like these guys are, though. I can barely, yeah, they are. I can barely hear vehicles moving. So this one's moving in. Another contact here. This guy's a mech moving down. I thought I heard another blip there, but I guess not. Now their main mech is going to be moving in slowly as well. So we're going to reserve back to turn one. 
Nobody else moving? Okay, so now we're going to try and get a shot on these guys here. So let's what get Bane Skater down to see if he can actually see anybody. Nope. Oh, we can see the vehicle from here. But I'm thinking I probably want to move height first. I think I can probably move down in here. Yeah, I can. So I'm going to move right into here. We want to see what the vehicle and mech are. Once again, we want to try and identify the enemies that we're facing as quick as possible so we can determine who's going to be used to kill them. Now, this guy will die really simply, so I'm not worried about him. Jenner F, four medium lasers. So he's the one that's going to receive the flamers, although, once again, I think we'll just use two because we don't really have a good chance to hit. So we'll just fire a couple shots here. Nope. Didn't expect much. Dang, that's a miss. That is a miss. Uh, Van Skater can get over here, and we're going to sprint over, and we're going to shoot the uh, hunter. The SRMs on this, even though they are um, have infernal rounds, they do do a bit of damage to vehicles. So hopefully we can uh, kill him. Ah, uh, not quite, but we got him with the tag, so it'll make it easier for the other guys to finish him up. Um, Good to go. Flatliner, we're going to move him down. We're in range with the medium lasers. We are. I gotta be careful with the LRMs because we've only got a certain number. We've really only got what six and a half turns of firing, so I have to choose my targets wisely. So we're gonna move in. We're just gonna use the medium lasers on the vehicle. With the damage from Vanscare there, hopefully there'll be enough if we get one hit to kill him. Got it, Commander. Come on. Nope. And then ground zero, we're going to sprint down. I don't know if I can get him with the small, can I? I can. Actually, what's the chance to hit here? 37? So I think what we'll do is we'll just move in. And we'll use both. Actually, just the PPC on him, I think. I don't think we need the small. Just to make sure we get the kill here. Engaging with nice. Alright, now let's see what they do those guys over there moving so now we're gonna get height to go in here get a side flanking attack on this guy and let's invite him to the barbecue three hits not bad since he has very very low armor one of them actually penetrated to the internals so oh he's not gonna move well that's just fine I'm going to move down here. We're going to try and kill this guy quickly. So let's see if we can hit him. I'm going to unload with... Well... Yeah, we're doing okay for heat, so let's fire everything and see if we can get him here. Nope. Wasn't expecting much. Oh, there's a target over here now. So let's see if we can knock this mech off fast. Hmm... I want to get a little, at least a little bit of movement here before I fire. Get some evasion up. Let's go on this guy again. Hopefully we hit him with a few more and really overheat him. Yeah, not bad. I don't think that guy's going to be firing at all. He's Oh, head hit. Good. He's going to be running, I think. So we got another mech coming in from the uh, right flank here. Vehicle moving down. Another hunter. Crap. Ah, crap. That, hit meat. that did hit meat. So he's not really moving. Oh, he shut down. Okay, so flatliner. Let's get him moving forward a bit. And we don't have multi tar Actually, we don't have anything really on these guys yet. But I think... Yeah, see, this guy's got no armor, so he's just sitting duck next round. So I think we're going to just shoot on this guy. And we're going to use one set of missiles, I think, too. We're going to go for... Uh, let's just try for a head. Maybe we shoot his head off, but we're going to try to inflict as max damage as we can on this guy. Ah, nice. Head hit. So all we got to do is knock him over now. Or torso him on one side, and then that's good salvage. Let's see. How's it going? 
Actually, what I'll do is I'm going to move Rain Skater back here. We want to get him close to the new mech that's coming in because once again we're trying to overheat these guys. So I'm going to shoot everything on him and go for the head and maybe get an extra headshot here. Come on. Yep, we got a headshot. And he's done. Good. Okay, so now ground zero. We'll just move him a little bit. We're going to move him closer to the new guy coming up. Because I think I can take this hunter out with one shot. Mm, yeah, maybe. I'm going to leave the small laser off. Nope. We have follow-up from uh, Flatliner, so we'll probably be okay. I think this is a, a light mech. It has to be because it's going on turn four. So we're going to reserve. Standing by. I want to see how close this guy gets here. So he's moving really slow. Could be an urban mech. Alright, not bad. A little bit of damage, but not much. Okay, gonna get flatliner shooting on the vehicle. I know we're moving down the hill a little bit, but we have to get going that way to face off with the guy up there anyway, so... So let's just go with medium lasers on him, see if we can get penetrate the side and kill him. Nope. All right, height. I'm gonna finish it up with you, I guess. Orders. And think what I'll do. Mainly from the side is what. 57% chance. So if I move here, 78% chance. Let's go to the side here. And then we'll just shoot him with two of the flamers. We're not going to use all of them. We might get enough damage on him to kill him. How much does he need here on the side? Six points. So if we get a side shot, here we got we him. Go. There we go. Looks like those flamers might do double damage with his vehicles, too. So now we've got our left side completely clear. We can face the people coming up here on the right. We're going to reserve again. Let them get a little closer, find out what we're dealing with here. Hopefully that mech, if that mech's an urban mech, we want to take him out fast. Anything with a big gun always has to go down first. So he's moving really slow, my guess is it is an urban mech. So let's get height. Can you get in to see you can see this guy? So we're going to get you right up close. Copy that. we got to know what he is. There's another guy right behind him too. So, yeah, Urban Mech, AC-10, so we got to kill this guy fast. I don't know what this is. This guy was somebody fast. So we're going to shoot on him. Um, three or two? Let's go with 30% uh, chance, though. I don't want to overheat before we meet the next guy, so let's just go with two. Yeah, two misses. That should have hit. Yeah, it should have hit. Alright, so we need to get in here. Copy that. Hopefully we can get the tag and the narc on them. And the haywire, but we'll see what we can get here. We're overheating a little bit here, but... Targeting for an alpha strap. I don't know if the tag hit or not. 19... Well, no, that was the... Uh, so what do we got on him here? We got a tag. Tagged. Homing beacon. Haywired. So, okay. So we hit him with all three of the things we needed to hit him with. So ground zero. It's going to move back up here. On my way. Just going to go straight with the PPC on him. I copy. Come on, hit. Nope. But we're going to go with all the other missiles. That we can't have that uh, AC-10 firing. Order. So we're going to move back up here. And we're going to shoot at him with the missiles for sure. Hopefully we can blow that arm off. Unlikely, but... Uh, maybe we make him nervous. Oh, I like that shot. So do I. Okay. Let's see what happens here. 
Now the question is, do I leave height? He's got lots of evasion. So let's sprint up here. You want fast? I can give you fast. And let's open up with everything again. That's going to overheat us. We can leave these off because we hit them with all three last time. But let's just use all of the missiles. Make them a little nervous. Plus 40 heat. Nice. Score. AC 10 crit. Nice. Now what's that? Oh, that's a hovercraft or what that is. Okay, since these guys aren't really doing much, let's get you into here. And see if we can shut this guy down. Should we go all out? Let's just do it. Three hits. That should shut him down. That's it for him. Nice. Okay, down to three here, plus the guy up here. So, what do I want to do here? Don't know if I want to stay up high. Yeah, let's just stay here. No point in moving. Copy that. Holding for the right move. So we got five missile strikes Copy left. I'm just going to sit here and cool off. So now, is he down? He's down in the gully there. So we can't hit him from back there. I'm just going to reserve, see what they do here. Hoping this mech gets down here fast. Oh, fire setter 2C, that is not good. Okay, the Firestarter 2Cs, I think, have got um, ERPPCs, Clan ERPPCs. So we want to definitely get one of those. Which means we got to bore through the side of this guy. So he's got, yeah, two Clan ERPPCs and a Clan Flamer. Now the Clan ERPPCs are basically the same as a Heavy PPC. The stats are identical, except it's like 6 tons instead of 10. So that'll be a great upgrade if we can get a hold of that. So let's bore through the side of this guy. And we'll go with both SRM6s again. Actually, maybe we'll go with one SRM6 and try to haywire an arc and tag this guy. Yeah, that was awful. 24 heat, though. So I did get the narc on him. Oh, another vehicle. That's... Oh, that's right. That'll be four. Attack from the side. Now, once again, I don't want to kill this guy. I just want to overheat him, but I have to be careful here how badly I'm overheating. I can only use one, eh? Without overheating? Well, let's just Fire. use one. Okay, that's good. It'll hopefully deter him from using his PPC. Now, the question is. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot him with one LRM, hit him a few times, make him a little nervous. We don't want to do a lot of damage, just make him nervous. Yes, Commander. And I could hit him too, but I don't want to hit him with 92 damage, so I'm just going to brace here. They can't see us, or he can't see us anyway. That vehicle's coming out now. We want to be able to spot him. So, since he's not going first, we're going to get height to come around the... Well, we're still hitting him from the side over here, but we're going to get to the side still. And we can go with two flamers this time. Fire him up. Since he's overheating, we're doing more damage. So that guy is not going to fire now, for sure. He might use the flamer, but that'll be it. Okay. Receiving you. Side shot Fire again. Away. And we're going to go with the same complement. Okay, he's tagged. 
Plus 15 heat. Nice. Just keep them up at that critical level. So we want to get down and find out what these guys are. So I'm going to use... Hmm. I can't get in there to see who they are. Will Flatliner be able to do it? Let's just reserve here. We can see these guys and engage them. That'll stop them from going after our flamer units, hopefully. So that's probably a vedette, maybe? I don't know. AC5, AC2, this guy's getting a little close, too. It's obviously not a missile unit, or else he'd have been peppering us with missiles a long time ago. So let's move in with both of our guys. Once again, I'm going to use one set of missiles on him. Make him a little nervous. Maybe we get a headshot. Yep, got a head hit there. I think I hit, something good. hit the PPC for a crit. We don't want to destroy it. So that guy's still coming down. He's moving yep. pretty slow though, so he's probably walking and bracing. So we're just going to sprint forward and end our turn. Okay, so let's see if we can panic this guy now. I'm going to move Vayne Skater to the back or to the side. Hmm. Let's go here. And then we're going to do an offensive push on this guy. We're going to go for a headshot with everything. Okay, we got it. Nice. So height's going to not bother anymore. We're not going to have him on him. We're going to have him switch over to the Panther now. Just like that. Got to keep our torso turned because there's a vehicle over here too that we got to worry about. So let's hit this guy in the back. We're going to go with three flamers since we have a pretty good chance to hit. Let's get some good initial heat on him. Oof, only one hit? Really? Reporting. Critical hit. Well, he's got a lot of guys to worry about here in a second. So, Standing by. so let's move here. And we're going to shoot on the Panther with both. Hopefully we can blow that arm off or blow his leg off. Or the other torso, that'll work too. Some heavy damage. Okay, so... I want to save my LRMs for this guy up here. I'm ready. So I'm going to move forward. Actually, let's move forward and find out what this vehicle is. King Scorpion, Ultra 5. So we're just going to shoot our medium lasers on this guy. Um, and an LRM. Oh. Okay, good. I didn't want that Ultra 5 shooting us. A couple of 40 damages and it isn't good. So that guy's trying to retreat again. Oh, he's jump capable. So it is probably a Griffin or a Wolverine. Hmm. I don't want to have a long range engagement with that guy, but it doesn't look like we're going to have much of a choice. So height, um, let's stay behind that guy, but let's turn our torso the other way. And we're going to barbecue this guy once again. We can hit him with three, so let's do it. Yeah, he ain't doing anything. Yeah, so we're going to bore through his side with the medium lasers from uh, from Flatliner. So let's see what Vane Skater can do here. Get back on this hunchback, or on the uh, fire starter. Once again, unloading everything. We're going to do an offensive push. We're going to shoot for his head again. We just need one more. We got it. Oh my god, that's incredible. That's like two that's like two headshots this game. Cool. Ready for orders. So let's move you. Gotta start worrying about that guy coming up behind us, but let's remove this Panther quickly enough. 
Let's just fire everything and get rid of them. We're not definitely not going to be choosing anything from this panther, so... Okay, question. Do I go after that vehicle? Well, it moves on turn three, so I'm not really worried about it. I think I can kill it with my uh, guys next turn. So let's just shoot through this guy's side. Or try to leg him. I'm going to leave the LRMs off. We're going to need it for that last guy. Come on. <sighs> really? Oh, nice. And then there were two. Keep jumping and racking up heat, buddy. I don't mind. He's getting to the front awfully slow. So let's get uh, Vein Skater down here. And let's unload on this vehicle. Hopefully it's not like this. It oh, it's a Vidat. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. AC5+. plus. Shoot on the side. Hopefully if we hit it with enough missiles, we'll kill it. Let's just take these off. Fire everything. Nope. But... If we get a sprint on over here, I can shoot at it from the other side. And hopefully we get our final kill here. There we go. Those flamers do a lot of damage to vehicles. Alright, so we're down to one now. Um, let's see what he does. Oh, we saw him there briefly. By. So let's see if I can get Ground Zero up and close enough to see him here. Not yet. So let's sprint forward and use the trees as cover. Still up on that hill there. And Flatliner. I'm going to move forward and brace. Because if anything, they're going to want to shoot him. Uh, let's reserve, see what he does. Four against one. Oh, he's going to back up, is he? Chicken! That gives us a chance to get in close here. Oh, we can see him from here. Do we want to engage, though? Or do we want a turn of cooling? Let's get a turn of cooling in. Let's move behind the rocks here. Brace. Vein skitter. Let's get behind the rocks. Uh, looked like it was a shadow or a griffin, I mean. And then flatliner. Now we want to get close to him. That's the question. Or we want to stay back. We do have dead fire missiles, right? Or do we just have? No, we don't. We just have the regular missiles. So let's get into here and just brace. Waiting for orders. And I'm gonna sprint up. Mm, maybe not. Let's just move over here, and we'll brace. Affirmative. See what he does. Reserve. Maybe he'll move forward. The trebuchet is open. Oh. Okay, this guy. Two flamer triple pluses, which would be nice to have. Two plasma lances and two haywire EMPs, and full armor for a griffin, so... It's time for uh, Height and Vein Skater to invite this guy to the barbecue. We can get up the hill here, so let's do that. Let's go. I'm going to start slow. I'm just going to use the two 24 percenters here. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. I'm only starting slow because I want to make sure we have a better chance to hit before we start to overheat ourselves here. So, two SRM6s. Let's just go with this loadout. We're not going to hit much with this, but... No, no tag. Plus 10 heat. Okay. Commander? Um, I need to max out my evasion here, which also means lowering my chance to hit, but... We have a better chance to pot shot hit him than he has of us. We got more weapons, so. Weapons. Oh, nice. I'm your spaniel. 
And if we just attack from here, what's our chance? 21 and 24, eh? Um, we can't stay here. But if I move into medium laser range... Just fire the mediums. So once we shut him down, which we should this turn, we go again, of course, because we reserved. When you're fighting a single mech, it's better to reserve past their turn. That way, unless they do a, a heck of a lot of damage, that way you uh, get two shots against them. And if you're using overheating mechs like I am, that just means that we'll be able to shut him down now. And he's going to be constantly fighting a, a startup and shut down, startup and shut down for the next little bit. There won't be anything you can do about it. So now we use both of our, well, we yeah, let's use both our SM6s. We want to make sure we shut him down. So that should be enough. Tags on him. And now we can start pulling them apart. So he goes on turn three, and since I want to fire at him before with my missiles, he goes. We're going to do an offensive push on him, and we're going to target his legs, and let's see if we can take his legs off. There's a leg hit. Nice. And flatliner. Should have full complement now to shoot his leg. Punching all the buttons. Eh. So we've taken a guy that could have been really, really dangerous if he had gotten close to us, and we basically nullified him with two turns of movement and flamers. So we're going to heat this guy again. He's got good heat management, but if he's standing still, there's not much he can really do now. So we're going to attack him again. Once again, look at that 99% chance to hit because he didn't move, right? He's just standing still. Open for head hits here. Yeah, there's one. And ground zero. Offensive push. Leg. Actually, we do, yeah, we're going to push him back a turn. Almost got that leg. That is a hit. Flatliner, once again. Let's go after 80 missiles left. Going to go after this leg. There it is. Left leg destroyed. And he's going to go down. Ooh, that hit For another good. pilot hit. So all you can do is stand up. So this build that I've got here with these mechs, it's great um, as long as you're not fighting a bunch of tough guys like this. If we were fighting a bunch of guys like this, it would be very, very tricky. Especially having to have two mechs keep them tied up with heat. It's a, it's a real pain. But, hopefully we can get ahead here again. Um, when you're playing at lower levels like I'm playing right now, it's certainly a viable option, right? Alright, so he's going to be able to move, but that won't matter. We're going to offensive push that other leg. Copy that. Nice. And then Flatliner is going to just... Um, going to do another offensive push. We're going to shoot for the head this time. Roger that. Our chances are significantly lower with the offensive push than when he shut down, but... He's had enough. Nice. So we really maximize our salvage on this. Mission. But like I said, those clan ER PPCs, definitely want to get one of those. Since we can choose three things, that's definitely going to be one. Because it'll definitely lighten up our Panther. So maybe we can put a secondary weapon and more heat sinks. Now height's been hit. He'll be out for 15 days. So it looks like this is probably a good opportunity to travel to the next system. 
and we're gonna click next here find out what we get we like like no damage across the board there we I mean, height got a little bit of damage but not much right and once again we're gonna pass by all of the mech parts because we're gonna just focus on picking up um, these things down here so flamer triple plus I'm just gonna throw one in for now mm. We might add another flamer to the uh, fire starter once I get it fixed up. And then we've got, there's the clan ER PPCs. Now one of them was damaged. Does it really, it doesn't really show you if it was, if it's damaged or not. I guess it isn't. Now technically we should probably take both of these, but I'm only going to take one because I want to see what else we got down here. Clan cockpit, clan XL engine. Regular XL engine. How much is this worth, though? Two and a half million. And this is worth how much? Four million. I wonder why that would be worth more than this. Hmm. XL gyro. That's nice. Double heat sinks. Clanned. Um, yeah, if we were later in the game, that might be worth something. Half ton patchwork material, clan endo structure. Oh, okay, here's what we want. So I'm going to take this guy, put the flamer back, and take the plus two, the other guy. Um, it's not very ov often you come across these guys, so I think that one PPC and these two. Hmm. Because then I can put one on the Panther and one on the Fire Starter. So let's do that. Let's take both these energy. We're going to have lots of opp opportunity to pick up a bunch of other stuff later on, but we have all the parts I think we need for our Fire Starter. So I don't think we really need to grab anything else. So let's grab these. Let's confirm this. Although we are, you know what? We do have a pretty good chance to hit already with most of, most of our stuff. Like we haven't been really encountering times when we've been definitely wishing we've had better chances to hit. But like I said, how often am I going to come across these? So I might as well just grab them. Sure. Take it this way. So two Griffin parts, two Jenner parts, and a Panther part. Did we get a Flamer? We did. We got the Ultra 5 Auto Cannon, which is nice. The Flamer Triple Plus bonus. Oh, we got the extra PPC too. Cool tag. That's it. So we made out like bandits on this one. That's awesome. Alright, so it's only like a thousand <laughs> a thousand Seavils for one day for repair, so that's awesome. Um, so quickly we're going to just uh, repair the fire starter for one day. And then let's set up our mechs now. So let's go to the mech bay. We're going to work on that fire starter first. Because we were going to do that at the end of the last uh, end of the last video but we never we never got a chance to so let's go in and refit this guy now so we were gonna drop in the XL engine or the light engine I think it was uh, no it was the Klein XL we had so we were gonna drop that in and we were gonna drop in the Klein Endo Steel now we gotta be careful we don't get killed here but we're gonna do that and then we said we were gonna drop in five heat sinks so one two, three, four, five, and now, hmm, I was going to put the other flamer in, but now I'm looking at this plus two energy to hit. Maybe we drop that in, we take out one heat sink, and we do, we're going to put that, um, extra flamer in here, this guy. And I'm only going to use it as a backup weapon. I might need it. I don't think I'm going to have enough heat because this will be, like I said, we figured out that these would do 12 heat each. So that's 60 heat. And we've got, how much, what's our heat sinking? 48. So we can fire four and still be balanced. So, yeah, that's not bad. We'll just leave it like that for now. We might get an opportunity to get more uh, heat sinking in here, like get double heat sinks or something, but we'll leave it like this for now. Um, and then we are going to go to, yeah, we'll just save this, confirm, eight days. 
And then let's have a look at that Panther. So the Panther, we're going to talk about putting the ERPPC in here. So we have the PPC heavy right now. We've got the plus three uh, arm mounted weapon accuracy here. So we'll pull out the heavy PPC, which is 10 tons, and put it in the same weapon, basically, but it's four tons lighter. We got four tons left over. So we got our PPC capacitor, all these double heat sinks. Um, oh, this is a double heat sink engine, too. Cool. I, I actually forgot all about that. All right, so let's pull out. Mm hmm. Let me think here. What can we do with four tons? Uh, oh, I know. Um, ECM war warfare suite. That and this. And we can pretty much sprint and shoot all we want. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So, like, this mech really basically has no hard points. It's terrible. Like, we got the one hard point missile hard or laser hard point here, two missile points, and a, another laser point in the center. So, we can't really do much with this mech. Um, but I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this guy a little bit more mobile now. We can move around a lot more without having to worry about being hit. Um, and we got tremendous accuracy, so sprinting all the time is always going to be an option. Unless. Now that I'm thinking about it, we might be able to take this plus three energy and put it on, uh, no, I was thinking about putting it on the um, trebuchet for the medium lasers, but to make them a little more accurate, but I think what we'll do is we'll run like this just to see how good it is. I mean, with plus seven accuracy, I mean, chances are we're going to be like getting 99% chances to hit a lot and hitting with that ERPPC for 92 damage consecutively every turn is a huge advantage at this early stage so we're just going to confirm this so that's kind of a bonus I'll get it the schedule. now the trebuchet we're going to go in real quick because we've got that uh, the clan armor with case on it so we're going to drop that in let's find here equipment uh, clan armor with case we're going to drop that in now what we really really need to do though is find another way to get another ton of ammo in here I mean, we can drop a medium laser, they're not being that effective right now. So let's do that. We're going to drop one medium laser. And then we will um, go into missile weapons and put another LRM in here. So now that gives us another four turns of firing. So we've got what? What did I say we had? Six and a half turns, so now ten and a half turns of firing. That's great. So we can fire a lot more now. I'm just going to confirm that. On it. I'll let you know cool. That's done. Now the locust we can't do much with yet, but we will soon enough. So now we're just going to actually travel to the next system, and then we'll call it for today. So navigation, star map. Since height's out for 15 days anyway, I mean, we might as well travel, right? And it's a 23-day travel, so, and this is a double jump. So we're going to go here. It's got manufacturing, um, hallucinatory vegetation, which is, you know, always good for mech warriors that are looking to relax, um, research. So let's go here, um, just real quick, and uh, see if we get any um, encounters along the way. So once again, the war is happening. We're just going to take a quick look to see if the Circanus... Uh, Federation is actually involved in anything. It doesn't look like it. No, they're not in a war with anybody right now, so we can't really affect anything. Um, Ready to go over financial yeah. whenever you are. There's our financial report, 171,000, which is pretty good. I mean, just inc adding that uh, extra um, mech warrior for 15,000 is not breaking the bank on it, so we're okay. And we'll just click Next and Accept. The other thing I'm thinking of, too, now that we got that other PPC, is we might be able to get that Venom back online with the ERPPC. Hmm. That's a good thought, too. Because right now it's only got four medium lasers, right? If we can find a better engine, maybe we put jump jets in it. I don't know. 
Okay, nine days left. Everyone's back in service, so we're going to be in trouble here at the end of this month. But we should be able to get there, sell a little bit, and then um, we should be okay. The other thing too, if you know you're not going to be fighting for a month, you can reduce the monthly payroll um, and it'll save you a lot of money. Especially if you don't have any, um, if you're not fixing your mechs or anything, you don't need the extra tech level. Um, let's visit the store. So we're down to 163,000, so we only need to make up, why is it 200 and some odd thousand a month here? Hmm. That's interesting. Accuracy and crit. And not much else. So let's just sell some stuff here. I think we've got a couple things we can sell. Um, I could probably sell this heavy PPC right now. Because I got the other clan ER PPC, but I'm going to hold on to it just in case we take some damage and we lose one of these guys or two of them. Jump jet I can sell, which isn't much, but. Let's get rid of that. We don't have anything to sell, really. Mm, tag systems. Let's just sell one. So we're o not okay. Um, mm. AC5 Ultra. Yeah, we're probably not going to be using that for quite some time, so we might as well just sell that. And now we're okay. Alright, cool. So when we come back next time, uh, let's have a quick look at the contracts here in the command center. There should be a few things that we can possibly do. Um, I think before before we leave as well, we'll have a look at our mech warriors and our barracks just to see what kind of experience they've got. See if we can raise some of their gunnery skills up. Alright, so once again, there still didn't load quite everything here. So we'll just quickly go into the barracks. Have a look at our mech warriors first, and then we'll come back. Actually, we'll have a look at the uh, the contract board next time and see what we got. But we'll just quickly raise our uh, mech warriors up here. So, blank spare doesn't have much. Flatliner, yeah, man, let's raise this up. And don't really need tactics right now, so, well, we will eventually. But let's go for gunnery first. So we'll just raise up his gunnery. And ground zero, nothing yet. Height, raises gunnery up. Training confirmed, Commander. And then aye aye. payroll, not nothing yet. Advanced gator, gunnery for sure. And probably piloting too. I think we'll raise both of those up, and then we'll go back up to gunnery for the next Mech next time through. Complete. And that's where we'll leave it for today. So we got a bit done. Um, got enough for our next financial report, eight days left, so we might be able to get two missions in before the next financial report, which would be nice, so we can give us a little bit more buffer. And yeah, so uh, we'll see you all next time.